Look Outreach is underwritten by the generous support of Munter Enterprises. Family owned and operated since 1972, integrity is important, as our family name is on every project. Our word is our bond. Munter Enterprises. Just build it. Exceptional products, expert design, experienced professionals. An American Buildings Company authorized builder can turn your dream of a new building into a reality. Because ABC Builders are local contractors, they know your market and can handle your project from beginning to end. So if you're ready today, your ABC Builder is building tomorrow. Call Munter Enterprises, 518-584-6174. Welcome back, everyone. You know, I, I don't know if any of you have had the, a personal experience yourself or you might have known someone. Uh, suicide is one of those issues that can sneak up on you. A lot of times there are warning signs. A lot of times there are there's no signs at all, which makes it particularly devastating. And uh, we thought it might be beneficial to bring on a couple of experts in this field to have a conversation about this, to talk a little bit more about the effects in our community, and also maybe some of the warning signs and the kinds of things you can look for if you're feeling this way yourself, or you may have a loved one or a friend who might be feeling this way. So joining me today is Dr. Michael Prezioso. And Michael is the Commissioner for Mental Health and Addiction Services in Saratoga County. And we're joined by Amanda Duff, who's public health educator. So welcome, both of you. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, you know, I, uh, again, it's a topic that you almost don't know how to start talking about. It's not something you hear about every day, yet when you do hear about it, you wish you knew everything about it. Right, Michael? Sure, sure. It's something that comes up for people, but it's also one of the things that people want to stay away from because it can be very frightening in a lot of ways. Sure. Uh, you know, in Saratoga County, is this a, of what concern is this in Saratoga County? You know, interestingly, it's more of a concern, I think, than a lot of people would recognize. We actually have one of the higher rates in the state. We are disproportionately high in the rate of suicide, wow. and so it's a concern for us. Um, just to sort of frame that in terms of numbers? Um, I would, uh, over the last two years, we have data for um, 2015 suicides. We had 33 in the county. Oh my God. Last year, 2016, we had 30. Right, and uh, as we were talking before we went on air, uh, it isn't just one socioeconomic group. It isn't one age group. It isn't one particular gender, right? Correct. So uh, how, how, do you, how do you frame that then? Could it be a child? Could it be somebody 12 years old? It could be anyone. You never really know who you know, might be at risk for suicide, so it's really important to have those conversations and to also start talking about it and create that awareness. Right, um, and you were saying to me, well, uh, it can happen as young as, as a child, 12 years old. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, kids are facing all kinds of pressures, and one of the things that you know is in discussion in a lot of places now is the impact of social media. Oh, and man. in many ways, there's no escape for children from the pressures. You might have gone to school in the past and been the subject of bullying. Now there's no escape. Mm -hmm. Somebody's putting something on some website, some live stream, some post about you. You're talking about someone very young who may not have the coping resources of an, you know, an older person and they're not quite sure how to get themselves out of it, feel overwhelmed and you know, respond in this way. You know what, I had a conversation with uh, Supervisor Bolton's boss school system mm -hmm. and we were, we were talking about this that, you know, it's one thing if you're my generation, you're the last person to be picked on the basketball team, you know, right. so you feel that sort of you know, sadness and whatever you might feel about not being part of your peer group group, but with technology today, it's relentless. In the middle of the night, getting texts, getting all, all those kinds of information. And the other thing that we tend to think about today, right, uh, Amanda, is that we tend to think because of the age we're living in that a 12-year-old thinks like an adult. Correct. And they don't, right? No. No, they think very differently. And again, that's really why we want to start talking and even being aware of some of these signs that, you know, might... It, encourage you to just have that further discussion. Yes, right, sure. And we're going to talk about some of these warning signs in more detail. But as you move up the, the ladder in terms of age, and again, no particular sex and no particular economic background or any of these kinds of things, 50-year-olds, um, right? Life has passed me by. I didn't get the promotion I wanted. 
That's right. Uh, one of the groups high, uh, who experiences suicide the most is actually middle-aged males, 45 to 64. Oh, I can see that. Uh, very disproportionately high rate of suicide. And there could be factors that are different than the ones that we just talked about. Yeah. Lost my job. My relationship has changed. My kids have moved out. My finances are all different. Many things can contribute to um, thoughts of suicide and acting on suicidal ideation for mm -hmm. that age group. They're there, they're just not quite the same as they might be for a much younger person. Right, uh, and you know, you often hear too that people that are considering suicide send out warning signals. You know, I'm, I'm thinking of doing this, and in a way it's a cry for help. It's a cry to say, you know, I'm thinking this way, stop me from, from doing this. And that could be true, but it, not necessarily, right? It's, you know, you're, you're exactly right. A person may not have an intent to commit suicide, but may not have any other way to ask for help. On the other hand, they might, in fact, be thinking of suicide. And so in either case, you're going to want to respond. Yes, you are. Uh, let's, let's go to some of the warning signs, OK? Uh, let's hit some of the obvious ones first. If, uh, and this could apply to yourself, or it could apply to someone you know. What would you say would be like the leading thing to just kind of keep an eye out for? I would definitely say anyone that might be saying goodbyes, um, they might be giving away prized possessions, or they might be doing things out of the ordinary from their usual routine. So for example, if you're um, you know, a baseball player and you're really into baseball and all of a sudden you stop showing up for practice, that might be something that you might want to look out for, or at least, again, approach somebody with that concern. I bet. I bet. Um, what are some of the other things, Michael? Well, you, like, like Amanda said, you'd want to look for changes in the person's behavior. If right. they normally act a particular way, they do something different. Mm -hmm. More sadness, more tearfulness, changes in sleep, changes in appetite, even comments. I've had it. That's enough. I'm done. I'm out of here. Well, you guys are going camping next week, but it doesn't matter to me. I'm not going to be around. Even, yeah, wow. even things like that sure. will come up for people, and those are the things that we might want to pay attention to. You know, it, it, and in passing, you know, we, it's, it's a kind of human nature, right? Oh, it'll be okay. Mm -hmm. You know, it'll be all right. Well, not necessarily, and in this kind of case, prevention is really the way to try to look at this and say, well, wait a minute, you know, maybe, maybe I should take that signal a little more seriously and start what I think uh, we were talking about earlier was the first step in this is start the conversation because quite honestly probably that's the gateway in right I think that's exactly right when a person is presenting you with these things I agree with you they're letting you know something sometimes people uh, are concerned that if they broach the topic of suicide they're actually gonna put the idea in the person's head they may yeah. not have been thinking about it but now they are because mm -hmm. you mentioned it turns out that that's the opposite uh, the opposite is the case when you find that somebody's talking about these kinds of things when you do intervene it's the opportunity to provide help provide help now help by the way there's a hotline uh, 1-800-273-8255 273-8255. It's anonymous. You can call in. You can get tips. You can get help. You can get uh, references. You know, you have referrals. You have places that, that you can go. And also in Saratoga at the library on April 6th, there's going to be something called the Safe Talk Workshop. Open to the public. You can come in, talk about this, get some information, and maybe, you know, certainly help yourself or help, help one of your loved ones, right? Well, uh, really, thank you very much for taking the time to come in and talk to us about this. Thank you. And uh, you're welcome back. Please come back before the workshop or after the workshop. And then I know you have other events on the calendar as we move through the year. And this is a dialogue that we'd like to start with our viewers in the community because you never know when you might be faced with it, right? Absolutely. Well, good, Amanda. Thanks very much. Michael, thanks. Thank you. Thank nice you. To Appreciate meet you. it. You too. To see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com. Look Outreach is underwritten by the generous support of Munter Enterprises. Family owned and operated since 1972, integrity is important as our family name is on every project. Our word is our bond. Munter Enterprises. Just build it. Exceptional products. Expert design. Experienced professionals. An American Buildings Company authorized builder can turn your dream of a new building into a reality. Because ABC Builders are local contractors, they know your market and can handle your project from beginning to end. So if you're ready today, your ABC Builder is building tomorrow. Call Munter Enterprises, 518 518-
584-6174.